So the question is, if he doesn't play another game in the National Hockey League in his career, which this is just for argument's sake, is he a Hall of Famer today? You know, with, what did we say, just five? 536. 554. 554 in games played, probably a tough tough ask mm -hmm. to, to qualify for the Hall of Fame. I don't know. I mean, take take a Mike Bossy, for instance. Take an Eric Lindros, for instance. Those players had relatively short careers. Four Hall of Famers, they were both north of 700 games. So on a pure by, uh, you know, service time. By you. service yeah. basis, perhaps not. But if you kind of put them in context with some other Brilliant goal scores. Can I throw some other accolades in there for you? Heart Won the trophy. Calder, two-time Rocket Richard, Hart Trophy winner. Yeah. Doesn't have the Stanley Cup yet. Nobody on that Leafs team has the Stanley Cup just yet. It would be an I interesting buy, debate. I think if I, I think this is fair to say. This trajectory projected out another four, five seasons mm -hmm. conservatively. I, I think he's a lock. And, and to me, one of the most interesting comparisons. If you put him up beside, and there, I mean, we're looking at to the very far right of your screen, Alex Ovechkin, arguably, arguably the greatest goal scorer, or about to be, conceivably could be, uh, of all time, and Matthews compares so favorably to Ovechkin. Through the first 550, 554 games of their career, look at what Matthews accomplished, 21 goals more than Ovechkin over that same span of time. Um, it's um, it's an interesting comparison. That to me is important context. Um, that's a Hall of Fame lock, assuming you know again another handful of seasons for Matthews. Two more years, that would be enough to put him a guaranteed lock into the Hall of Fame. If it ended today, it would be a question. Yeah. There would still be a debate around it. It would not be a, a hundred percent sure thing that Austin Matthews. But that is hypothetical. The numbers are trending about. in that direction for sure. They, they just, sure are. Just, they sure the numbers are, are trajectory. That he could become the all-time greatest goal scorer of all time, well, even if o Ovechkin breaks the record. How long does Ovi hold that? If man? you look at Ovechkin and you've got the lockouts that he's missed, the COVID seasons, there's been a bunch of games that he had to miss throughout his career. And if you go to Matthews and he doesn't have to miss any time yeah. with a lockout or COVID or any kind of other situation, and he's playing 70, 80 games a year throughout the rest of his career, yeah. and he continues to score a clip like this, he could push Ovechkin, Gretzky to the wayside, and that could be 2-3, and Matthews could be your top goal scorer of, a, a, a couple of, of, things, of all time. A couple of things to set off against that, to, to that kind of counter that. Ovechkin, through his career, has been incredibly durable, rarely misses time at all. Um, it, it, you know, so it's just, it's a, it's a very, and, and two, the, the second piece is, um, towards the back end of his career, I mean, Abs set this this year aside. It's really the only you know flat start he's he's really had over the course he's of his still career. Thirty. He's he's never been north of or sorry south of thirty two. I think over a um, you know a full season, Incre and that is borne out really well into his thirties. Incredibly productive late in his career. Uh, that'll be another challenge for but, Matthews as he as he gets into his middle thirties. But he's had some dips in his prime. Yeah, where it's dipped down into the into thirty the range. 30s. Yeah. Where I don't, I, you, maybe I don't see this happening with Matthews. He can put up 60 again next year, 60 again. He's proven the he's year pretty, after that, pretty consistent. and durable. And with yeah. that wrist shot, big body, he seems to me like he could stay healthy, like an Ovechkin. He plays that kind of kind of heavy style with that big, strong frame, and the wrist shot and the ability to get it off is the same thing with Matthews. The, if the skating goes at some point and yeah. some time, like it has with Ovechkin, not the the fastest of foot. All you have to do is get him in the right spot at the right time. He's going to continue to score goals. Would you agree with this? Just focusing on his skill set as a pure goal scorer, I would argue Matthews has more tools in his toolkit than does an Ovechkin. Ovechkin, take nothing away from him. Brilliant from his, you know, his sweet spot, that, that kind of left flank on a PP, or even uh, we see it occasionally five on five. Um, but beyond that, I mean... It's, you know, a little garbage in front. It's the occasional, you know, snapper from, from 40 feet out, 30 feet out. 
Matthews has more tools, in my estimation. Yeah, I, w I would definitely agree with that. Yeah. The, with the wrist shot and the ability to centerman, winger, multitude of areas. You, there was an interesting article a couple of goals a couple of years ago in the Athletic, and it was a it was kind of a, an interview of players who had spent time with Matthews over the course of his career, including goaltenders. And one of the common denominators, a common thread through those, you know, those those kind of anecdotes or or. Um, evaluations of, of Matthews as a goal scorer is just how he does it in so many different postures. He's really comfortable scoring when off balance in some what you would consider maybe an awkward uh, stance for, for your typical shooter. And here's another counterpoint to it too is different kind of styles of play. You talk he can score in a multitude of ways but don't forget Ovechkin at the start of his career was a bowling ball. He hit everything in sight and you yeah. talked about the durability. He was in there banging bodies crashing around 100 plus hits on the course of year Matthews does not have that kind of kind yeah. of game plan or style yeah. so if you take the totality of what they offer and bring to their teams yes Matthews can score in a multitude of different ways but the energy and passion that Ovechkin played with yeah. over the years it was like his hair was on There's, fire yeah. and it's still there yeah. today is, is they get close into this playoff race and it means a lot you can see that vibe starting to flow back into Ovechkin yeah. and and he still that's celebrates the, his goals and everybody else's goals. Yeah, like it's his first, first goal ever. ever. That's an intangible that Matthews doesn't have. The the you know the the pace, the tempo, the the physicality that an Ovechkin plays with. Mm -hmm. It drives the rest of the group. It inspires the rest of the group. It can it can change tempo in a game. That I don't know that uh, Matthews necessarily has that to the, they're, they're, to the same degree. They're different players in some yeah, aspects, and they get different. it done in different ways. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's going to play out for a long time.